Michael Joseph Jackson was an American singer, songwriter, dancer, and philanthropist. Dubbed the King of Pop, he is regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Michael Jackson, in full Michael Joseph Jackson or Michael Joe Jackson, see researchers note, born August 29, 1958, Gary, Indiana, U.S. died June 25, 2009, Los Angeles, California, American singer, songwriter, and dancer who was the most popular entertainer in the world in the early and mid-1980s. Reared in Gary, Indiana, in one of the most acclaimed musical families of the rock era, Michael Jackson was the youngest and most talented of five brothers whom his father, Joseph, shaped into a dazzling group of child stars known as the Jackson Five. In addition to Michael, the members of the Jackson Five were Jackie Jackson, by name of Sigmund Jackson, B. May 4, 1951, Gary, Tito Jackson, by name of Toriana Jackson, B. October 15, 1953, Gary, Jermaine Jackson, B. December 11, 1954, Gary, and Marlon Jackson, B. March 12, 1957, Gary. Motown Records President Perry Gordy, Jr., was impressed with the group and signed them in 1969. Sporting the loudest fashions, the largest of rows, the snappiest choreography, and a youthful, soulful exuberance, the Jackson 5 became an immediate success. They scored four consecutive number one pop hits with I Want You Back, ABC, The Love You Save, and I'll Be There in 1970. With Michael topping the pop charts as a solo performer with Ben and reaching number two with Rockin' Robin, and with the Jackson 5 producing trend-setting dance tracks such as Dancing Machine, the family's string of hits for Motown lasted through 1975. As Michael matured, his voice changed, family tensions arose, and a contract standoff ensued. The group finally broke with Motown, moving to Epic Records as the Jacksons. Jermaine remained at Motown as a solo performer and was replaced by his youngest brother, Randy Jackson, in full Stephen Randall Jackson, B. October 29, 1961. As a recording act, the Jacksons enjoyed consistent success through 1984, and their sister Janet Jackson embarked on her own singing career in the early 1980s, however, Michael's solo albums took on an entirely different status. Jackson's first solo effort for Epic, Off the Wall, 1979, exceeded all expectations and was the best-selling album of the year, it eventually sold more than 20 million copies. Produced by industry veteran Quincy Jones, Off the Wall yielded the massive international hit singles Don't Stop Till You Get Enough and Rock With You, both of which showcased Michael's energetic style and capitalized on the contemporary disco dance fad. Three years later he returned with another collaboration with Jones, Thriller, a tour de force that featured an array of guest stars and elevated him to worldwide superstardom. Thriller captured a slew of awards, including records setting eight Grammys, remained on the charts for more than two years, and sold more than 40 million copies, long holding the distinction of being the best-selling album in history. The first single on the album, The Girl Is Mine, an easy-going duet with Paul McCartney, went to number one on the rhythm and blues charts and number two on the pop charts in the fall of 1982. The follow-up single, Billie Jean, an electrifying dance track and the vehicle for Jackson's trademark moonwalk dance, topped the pop charts, as did Beat It, which featured a raucous solo from famed guitarist Eddie Van Halen. Moreover, Beat It helped break down the artificial barriers between black and white artists on the radio and in the emerging format of music videos on television. By 1984 Jackson was renowned worldwide as the king of pop. His much-anticipated victory reunion tour with his brothers was one of the most popular concert events of 1984. In 1985 Jackson and Lionel Richie Carr wrote We Are The World, the signature single for USA for Africa, an all-star project aimed at famine, relief. Further solo albums, Bad, 1987, which produced five chart-topping hits, among them the title song and Man in the Mirror, and Dangerous, 1991, much of which was produced by new Jack swing sensation Teddy Riley, solidified Jackson's dominance of pop music. 
in 2001 he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Jackson 5 were inducted in 1997. Jackson's eccentric, secluded, lifestyle grew increasingly controversial in the early 1990s. His reputation was seriously damaged in 1993 when he was accused of child molestation by a 13-year-old boy he had befriended. A civil suit was settled out of court. In 1994 Jackson secretly married Lisa Marie Presley, daughter of Elvis Presley, but their marriage lasted less than two years. Shortly thereafter Jackson married again, this marriage producing children, though it too ended in divorce. While he remained an international celebrity, his image in the United States was slow to recover, and it suffered even more in November 2003 when he was arrested and charged with child molestation. After a 14-week trial that became something of a media circus, Jackson was acquitted in 2005. In the wake of these events, Jackson suffered a financial collapse that resulted in the sale of many of his considerable assets, including, ultimately, his lavish Neverland ranch. He was preparing for a series of high-profile concerts he hoped would spark a comeback when he died suddenly of cardiac arrest on June 25, 2009 prompting a widespread outpouring of grief from his fans that culminated in a memorial celebration of his life and legacy on July 7 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, featuring tributes by friends and luminaries such as Stevie Wonder, Barry Gordy, Jr., Brooke Shields, and Al Sharpton. In August 2009 the coroner ruled Jackson's death a homicide, the cause was a lethal combination of sedatives and propofol, an anesthetic. In November 2011 Jackson's personal physician was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. The documentary film This Is It, which drew from more than 100 hours of footage compiled during rehearsals for Jackson's scheduled 50 concert comeback engagement in London, premiered in October 2009. Also in 2009 Jackson's 14-minute music video thriller, 1983, directed by John Landis, was inducted into the National Film Registry of the Library of Congress, the first music video to be so honored. Later documentaries included Leaving Neverland, 2019, which centers on two men who allege that Jackson sexually abused them when they were